Hi, this is Jake Donamaker. I'm the CEO and president of AXACOM, and today I want to show you how to use AXABLOCK. AXABLOCK is our company's, AXACOM's, email security, antivirus, and anti-phishing service. So we'll take a look at a few reasons why you need AXABLOCK and why it's important for your security. So the number one method of cyber attack is launched via email. So uh, these attacks can steal passwords, they could steal your data or photos, uh, they can steal your identity, and they can also plant ransomware on your computer which encrypts your data and holds it for ransom. So another result of an email um, attack or an attack coming through via email is that cyber crooks can seize your computer and use, that, use your computer in a botnet or they can take control of your webcam in order to listen to you and view you and spy on you. So let's uh, take a look at what uh, a couple different uh, email attacks look like. So one way is that you receive an email with a virus attachment. So that's pretty straightforward. An email comes through. It has a an attachment. It might be a the virus might be in a zip file. It might be a word macro or something like that. And when you open the attachment, it infects your computer. But the more common way uh, that we see uh, email attacks coming through is via phishing. So an email comes through, it usually contains a link, so you click on a link and that takes you to a website. And the website may have a password stealer, it may uh, download ransomware onto your computer or you know, any number of things. So that's phishing is when you go to uh, another website in order to get infected. So what our AxaBlock service does is that it filters out all the bad stuff. So when an email comes in, it checks the email. If the email is good, it will pass the email onto your Outlook, and then you can view it in your inbox. But if the email is uh, suspicious, or if it has a virus, or it's been identified as uh, like a phishing scam, it will go into quarantine, and once a day you'll receive a daily held spam report uh, in your inbox, in your Outlook, or whichever mail client you're using. Now one thing I want to talk about is, uh, real quick, is deals, ads, and newsletters. That kind of, I don't know, clutter or noise that comes through your system. That may or may not be blocked by our AxaBlock uh, Axa system. Uh, a lot of this uh, you know, these deals and ads are things that you sign up or maybe some retailers or a website signs you up into their marketing program. And th that is not necessarily spam. It's bulk mail, uh, spam being unsolicited, you know, junk that comes through. Bulk mail is stuff that you may may want to see. You know, it might be um, target ads or Groupons, you know, perhaps you signed up for or you have a subscription to uh, a newspaper like the New York Times or Washington Post. So you're receiving, uh, you know, those newsletters they are coming through. So that may or may not be blocked by our AxaBlock system. Uh, typically they aren't, uh, but some of them might get caught up in our quarantine system. So each day you receive a daily hell spam report uh, that usually comes through around uh, midnight or one o'clock in the morning. So when you show up the next day to work, you'll see uh, this email, and it has a list of all the email that was caught in a in our by our AxBlock system and put into quarantine. So what I want to do is I want to switch over to uh, show you that in real time. So I'm going to just go over to my email system here. All right, so this is Outlook Web Access, and this could very well be just you know your regular Outlook, uh, but I'm using Outlook Web Access at the moment here. So you'll see the this email. Okay, here's my most recent one. So this is the Axcom spam report is in the subject line, and it says that it is the daily held spam report. Okay, so if I open if I open this up, I can just double click on it, and it'll open up. So I'll open up that message, and I'll show you how to use this. Okay, all right. So it has the the first thing we see is this list of 
uh, messages. Okay, this says that there are 35 pieces of spam that were caught in the last 24 hours. And it's over here, you'll say 20 not shown. Now, this is what's called clutter. And this is a s email coming from or spam coming from known spammers that got caught up. But uh, my settings, it's just showing right here, you know, these 35 messages. And I could select to view it, view the message, or I can select to, to uh, release it. So, for instance, if I want to view this message, I'm going to go ahead and click view. And it will open up that message. It takes me to our Axiblock website. And you'll see the message, and it says hi. And then it has a, a Google link here, and it's from Pedro Chavez, allegedly. And I can see who it's from. So right away, I can see that this is just junk mail. You know, this is just some nefarious stuff. I do not want to click on this link or anything. I don't want to release it into my inbox. Now, I can choose just to delete it or ignore it. I'm going to go ahead and just delete it. And it says, are you sure you want to delete this? Yes. And, oh, okay. So it would normally delete it. Um, See, I believe I need to log in to the website to do that. All right, so what I'll do is uh, I can also look at these other messages. And if I see something that should not be in here, for instance, here's a newsletter called Nuzzle News. And I could choose to release that if I like. And this will uh, open that up. And it says it's been released. Now, uh, so it's been released and it'll show up in my inbox in a few minutes. Now here's another option. I can choose to allow uh, going forward you know, this email address. These are address, uh, email addresses. So I can say, okay, I want to receive that going forward. So I, I'll just check that and I'll submit request to sender. And that will go to the Axcom tech team and then we could add that to the allowed list of uh, email senders. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and close my window. Okay, so that, that kind of that describes the view and the release buttons here. Now, there's other options I could take a look at. I can look at the whole report. Now, remember, this came through. Let's see. I think it said yeah, one o'clock in the morning, 1:06 a.m. So this was the last 24 hours. Uh, but I can go look at this uh, the quarantine real time by clicking this link: view, search, sort, report. So I'm going to click on that, and that will take me to our Axiblock website, and it will go ahead and load uh, everything that has been caught in quarantine and put into the quarantine list. And as that loads, uh, you'll see that I can sort it by you know spam. I can see the malware. I can take a look at uh, what's been released and what's been trashed. I can search by date. Uh, this is February 11th through March 13th. So I can search a date range, and I can also search by uh, you know any keywords that might be in the subject, or might be in the body, or maybe it's an email address. So here's the list of everything that is currently in the quarantine uh, up to the present time, and I can go through here and I could search for mail. So if I want to search for anything, let's say I want to say uh, okay maybe Jonathan said. Said, sent me an email so I can search Jonathan or I can put an email address in here. So another thing it does here is I can actually request a current report. So remember this report that came through at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, but let's say it's 10 o'clock in the, in, the, in the morning and I want to see the current report. I can click request current report. It'll take me to the Axablock website and it'll say your held spam report will be emailed to you within 15 minutes. So that'll show up in the inbox. Now, I can also change the settings here. So I can go to change report settings. Now this is all from my daily held spam report that I receive at one o'clock or thereabouts in the morning. So I can uh, go to change report settings. So I'm gonna click on that link and that'll take me to my settings. Now here are some settings you may wanna consider. So right now I am gonna receive uh, daily held spam reports. It's gonna uh, send it a report even if there's no spam caught it will still send me a report that way i know that it's functioning and when the report comes it, it's it's going to be sorted by date or time uh, but i can also select you know if i want you know from or subject or something like that if i want to change the way the report looks i can select it there uh, this show clutter i can uh, 
you know, clutter is like known spam. It's like stuff that is definitively spam. It's from known spammers. I don't want to see that in my report. It's just going to make the report too long. So I'm going to leave that um, deselected. Oh, the other thing is if I do want to receive the uh, daily held spam report more frequently than once a day, I can uh, drop this down. I can check this box and I could drop this down and I could say, so between two and six hours, if you say four or six, it will receive, you'll receive a, like a report in the middle of the day, which might be helpful. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one unselected because I'm good with receiving it once a day. And because I can, I know I can always go into my AxaBlock quarantine to take a look at those uh, quarantine messages whenever I want. Now, here's another thing. Display messages from all countries. I'm going to tell that no. I don't want to receive uh, um, messages from, you know, coming from all countries. So I'm going to uh, only want to receive messages from the United States and Canada. So I'm going to say, you know, exclude all. And I'm going to go back and add in Canada. Well, okay, I'm going to have to go down to the C's here in Canada. And I also want the United States. So I'm going to go down to the U's. And select the United States. Now, if you're doing uh, business with other countries like the UK uh, or... Uh, China or Brazil, you can add those countries in if you like. And it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. So now the only countries that are going to show up in my quarantine are going to be from Canada and the United States. Okay, so just best practices. Now keep in mind uh, that no email security system is 100%. So always be alert, always be vigilant and aware that uh, there could be a phishing email or an email that contains a virus that sneaks through the system. So you still want to exercise caution when you're opening up email. You know, avoid or don't add public email domains to the allow list. In other words, don't um, add like gmail.com or yahoo.com because a lot of spammers and a lot of um, cyber crooks, they use, they'll hijack an email address from those public domains and you don't want to be exposed to those. So you do not... Uh, add the entire uh, domain to the allow list. But you could do individual uh, email addresses like, you know, Bill Smith at gmail.com or, you know, Sarah Johnson at yahoo.com. That's perfectly acceptable for their individual email addresses. Uh, one thing I always tell people, if you think it's a fish, it's probably a fish. You know, if you think it's a, a virus, it's probably a virus. So go with your hunch. If you have any um, any suspicions or you want uh, act the Axcom tech team to take a look at it, you can always forward us uh, the email, support at axcom.net. We'll take a look at it for you. We're happy to do that. Uh, and if you are looking to add, um, oh, these, when you're adding items to your allow list, that is done on a individual basis. But if you need to add, a domain to uh, the, you know, for the, the entire company, your entire company, uh, email that request to support at xcom.net and we'll go ahead and take care of that for you. So that's about it. That's the Axablock uh, email protection system. And I think that'll go, you'll find that it goes a long way to help you out. And if you have any questions, you can always contact us. If you are uh, not an Axacom customer and you are interested in our Axablock service, you can always send an email to this address requesting information and a quote on how we can protect your network and your users from uh, these malicious emails that are coming through. Thanks a lot, and I hope you have an awesome day.